just basically for an update of the events that occurred last night. Uh, once again, this happened um, uh, February 6, 2015, at approximately 7.24 p.m. That's when the radio traffic started going off in reference to the shooting. Um, the information that we have is that um, officers of the Oklahoma City Police Department um, and a member of the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Department went to the address. Uh, the address is 1000 Southwest 62nd. Uh, they went to this location because they gathered information believing that a, a wanted suspect uh, may be at that location. The person is identified as uh, Herbert Hill. Uh, date of birth is October 6th of 1989. He is a black male. Um, uh, this person had outstanding warrants uh, for failure to reg register as a violent offender, uh, which he must do, and uh, miscellaneous municipal warrants. Uh, once again, officers went to that location to try to locate uh, Hill. Uh, when they approached uh, the house, they saw a vehicle in the driveway um, with two people in it. Uh, one of the uh, individuals, the front seat passenger, was identified as Hill. Uh, officers made contact with him, uh, ordered him to uh, surrender. Uh, he did not. Um, he um, reached down, produced a uh, firearm, and began shooting at our officers. Uh, one of our officers, uh, Sergeant ja John Townsend, a 10-year veteran of this police department was hit uh, twice. He was hit once in the leg and then he received a, uh, he was grazed in the back uh, with another round. Uh, officers returned fire, um, a total of five of them, four Oklahoma City police officers, one uh, Oklahoma County De uh, Sheriff's Deputy, um, striking the suspect and uh, uh, ultimately uh, killing him at the scene. Um, there was a, um, a witness inside the vehicle, uh, a female who uh, was able to get away uh, uh, out of the vehicle and away from the shooting and prior to it um, um, actually occurring. So she's okay, she's unharmed, and uh, she is being interviewed. Um, that's all the information that we have now. Uh, the officers involved are going to be Lieutenant Brad Anderson, a 14-year veteran of the police department. Uh, once again, Sergeant John Thompson, a 10-year veteran of this police department. Uh, Sergeant Doug Grady, a 9-year veteran. Uh, and uh, Sergeant Monty Stevens, a 12-year veteran, and also uh, Oklahoma County Sheriff's Deputy Chris Harding, an eight-year veteran with that agency. Uh, any questions? Your officer doing all right today? Yes, he, uh, it, you know, very, very fortunate. Um, it was a through and through flesh wound. Um, he was treated last night. He was actually released last night, so he's now recovering, and he is expected to make a full recovery. So we're very, very fortunate. Also, the the uh, second round um, actually grazed him, and the uh, uh, his vest kept it from penetrating into his body. So it did what it was supposed to, and uh, very fortunate there. And this woman, I mean, do we think she's going to be charged with anything here? Or no, she, she was not her? arrested. Um, you know, I spoke to homicide detectives. She was interviewed. She was not arrested. I mean, really had nothing to do with it, with the situation, uh, and, and was able to get away before the shooting started. So it. You know, um, all things considering, uh, uh, we're very happy that she was able to get away, obviously, and uh, uh, before the actual gunfight started. Do you know what the robbery um, that what that he was suspect, mm. suspect in, what that was? Well, you know, it's important to note that uh, the officers went to that location uh, for the felony warrant. Uh, he was actually named in a robbery that is being investigated, but no charges were, were, were filed. It was a pretty new robbery, and although he was named, uh, no charges were filed. So, so at that point, you know, we had no reason to go and, and arrest him for that, but he definitely did have a felony warrant, and that's why the officers were there for, to arrest him for that.